everybody, it's J.T. Walters, Indian River County Fluid Artist. Um, today we're going to do, I forgot, it's like a beer drop or something, beer can drop. So um, I'm having a bit of trouble flattening this out and a bit of trouble leveling this. Hopefully this is in the camera frame, I'm not positive. Um, but anyways, let's get started. So we start with the little cup. I'm going to go with white on the bottom as usual um for those of you that don't know in these bottles are acrylic paint with flood which this is flood which is floetrol um latex 50 50 there's no water sometimes i use elmer's glue sometimes i don't and i'm not certain exactly now because these are pre-mixed um, and then I have, for variants, I have gone ahead and I have put three in one I always put in, but today I added some Rain-X as well. And I saw a really good video about people using hair coconut oil and they seem to get really big cells. Um, but I didn't get to the store to buy it. So, you know... When I'm stressed, I pray. When I'm done praying, I uh, go make myself some tea. When I'm done making my tea, if I'm still stressed, I write. When I'm done writing, which I did all day yesterday, um, I'm working on another novel, I go ahead and I, I paint. So we're starting out with some white. We're going to go with... This is magenta, adding some magenta in there. I can't even see over the top and I, I'm trying not to put my head in the way. So that's why I can't see magenta, yellow. I'm going to put blue. This is um, actually Admiral blue. I've already added these, the silicone and the other stuff, uh, the Rain-X to these bottles, so that's why I'm not adding it to um, the cup. And then per, um, gold, this is just regular gold. Can't believe I said purple. Now I'll do purple. I really wanted to do a, a purple, red, black, and gold painting, but I thought it might be too dark. Okay, so a little more white. Now, the higher you pour, the deeper those go. So it'll go all the way to the bottom if you pour from that high. Okay, so I'm going to go with um, magenta. Let's get magenta in there. Oh, I forgot yellow. I haven't put yellow in there yet. So we've got some interesting stuff going on in the cup, if you can see, hopefully. And then some blue. And then on top of that, I want gold. And red. Yeah, we're getting to the bottom of the red. That's okay, because I'm going to mix for another yellow, magenta. I have a bigger canvas that I am going to mix for later. And then blue. Okay, stop it with blue. Right? All right, now here's, here's the beer can approach. You've never done so guys goes in the bottom hopefully hopefully I can shimmy it over to the side let me get a, a stick and see if I can move it a little bit so it's kind of in the middle okay so around it you pour as much white as you can 
The idea is, is the white's going to go over the top anyway, so you don't care if the white goes on top of your... You actually want it to anyways, so I mean, it's not a big deal. Okay. Now, that should be enough for this 11 by 14 canvas, but I don't know because I've never done this before. So I'm gonna put this on top and I'm going to flip. Ooh, and we already have some that's fallen out. And I, I knocked the camera. Okay. I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute. I'm also gonna try and I, I like to get the edges of my canvases done. This is a pre-painted canvas, so I really don't really need to worry about it, but I also like it to have enough paint on here that this this likes to move. The paint likes to move. So fluids move with fluids. So here we go. And basically we just are gonna drag it around, see what we get as we go. Try and keep it level. That's kind of gonna be an issue here. Oh, goodness. See, I'm Trying to get it to go all the way around and make a pretty design. Start back at the center where we started and pull up. Okay, put that over here. Well, you can see inside here, it's, see, it was all white. I'm gonna drive it a little bit to this side. Now, the real thing about this is, is you don't wanna lose your cells, and I've got some really good cells going on. And covering it really isn't that important because honestly, I have, I honestly have, this is pre-painted, so it's kind of like, how big of a deal is it that it's not completely covered? It's not really that big of a deal. Because I can just go like that with my finger. I mean, it's really not that that hard to get this stuff going. Okay, so we basically have it. Now I remove this one. And this one becomes the center, our centerpiece. It's just a big cell. Okay, now before I do anything, in fluid painting, if this is your first time watching, you have to heat this to take off your bubbles, your air bubbles, and to bring out cells. That's a common practice. You can buy a heat gun, which if you get into this, I recommend you do buy the heat gun. Because the butane torch, you have to constantly keep refilling the heat gun you buy for 20 bucks. And that's the end of your commitment. You just plug it in. I don't know if it does, you know, if it works as well. I, I haven't seen anybody say either way. I just went with the torch.
Now you can't leave it on too long on your stoves because you can actually set your canvas on fire. I've actually done that. And that's it. That's the painting. I hope you can see it. I hope you like it. I'm gonna make certain paint on my hands when I pick my phone up. So let me see if you can get the whole picture. This is JT Walters, Indian River County fluid artist. I hope you enjoyed this painting. Uh, beer bomb fluid painting. Take care.